because as I promised in the last video because there's so many boring things happening at most of the other houses at this stage I'll show you LaRue's interior to give you some nice before and after footage So on a building site, we often have issues, especially the fact that we have multiple building sites and tools and a lot of stuff on different sites. Um, we have a bunch of power tools and we are in the process of buying some new stuff and, and, and getting some new stuff. So for now, we wanna try to test out and see which of our tools are working, which are kind of working, which is worth sending for repair, which is just being thrown out, that type of thing. It's, it's always difficult uh, when we have these many sites going on at once so every now and then we do like a little uh, check of what we have is it working is it not working is it going for repair that type of thing yeah. can we test that thing? okay so let's test all of them one 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 what's wrong with this one power process okay so that um let's make two eats put it that side that one needs repair whatever it's necessary but it needs Something will be gone. I'm going to say, even where's those things? He's going to say, I don't know. I'm going to say, well, then it's your fault. It's gone. Oh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna see that it is working and it's becoming better. No, and cool. then for that reason, you will be getting a raise because you are setting a ready. problem for us. You know. Instead of power running around looking, do we have strips here? You can just say, even do we have strips? You're going to say, yes, we do. We've got there in the back. We've got three. Or, yes, but it's one ten millimeter and two twelve millimeters. And then power can say, guys, we've got this. And the same with drills. For instance, we had five broken tools here. Five drills <laughs> that's broken. And two grinders. Which is just lying in a box. We don't know, is it something? I think we've got seven or eight slips of different stuff that we handed into my car. So that's just a waste. It's just lying in a box doing nothing. So it's taking up so, storage, so, it's not doing anything. So the new plan will be, once you collect the tools in the afternoon, we must know are they working or not? Has one broken? Is it fixable or must it be replaced? Okay, we'll get you a small cleaning station. A little bit of oil, a little bit of cleaning uh, tips and a cloth. Then you just wipe everything, put it in or, the last Or even we give somebody forgiven to help him for yeah. that job. Maybe one guy, say, tell me who you want to use, not a uh, builder, one of the smaller guys. Emmanuel. Yeah. Or... <laughs> okay. You can plug it out, it's fine. Yeah. Um, Emmanuel or yeah. um, Taborko or. Especially one of the guys who stayed there. One of those there. laborer guys. I think Emmanuel. Okay, okay. Um, we will use Emmanuel then for that job for now. Um, but power, the big thing is you need to manage it. And when I say manage it, it, 
it specifically actually means you must not do it yourself. I don't want to give you more jobs to do. I want you more to give you more things to check. And then give given something to check. And the guy underneath something to check. Okay. So if you've ever seen a paint technique like this, tell us about it. <laughs> the dance we just looked at is really interesting and we see this quite a lot. It's a, um, not a massive house, not superbly redone. People want 1.9 million for it. I think it's too much. Um, as you would have heard, I said to him, if in two or three weeks you don't have an offer, give me a call and I'll write something up and it will be just one of our one out of 10 offers that we do type of thing. But um, that house is not for us at that price. It's in the market for 1.9 million Rand. It's got a bunch of work. Um, everything has to be done. Old kitchens, old uh, bathrooms, not nice. Um, not, not even usable, um, a lot of paint techniques that they tried, you know, just does not really work well. <laughs> and that's what we do for a living. We see a lot of crappy houses, that's expensive. <laughs> So today is quite a busy day on site. We uh, quickly have to make a few decisions on wall tiles and floor tiles for the showers. And then uh, we also have to do a full uh, lighting layout and electrical layout to be sure that all plugs and, and fittings are where they need to be. So, um, and, and to order everything in time for, in terms of lighting fittings and, and, and plug fittings and so on. Okay, Robert. Uh, Floor tiles, I think we're gonna go with that. Th that tile will be here, definitely. Eh? It's gonna come in here. But just put it there quickly. I just wanna see what it looks like here. Yeah? Okay, and no another one next to it. Okay, and then halfway. There, let's put it. No, 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 it's a uh, wall, yeah. So these are floor tiles that we're gonna use on the walls because they're a bit cheaper and stronger. Uh, put it halfway. Skate for more. Yes, put this one. So I'm thinking the one on the left because it makes quite a bit more of an impact as where the other one, um, the aggregate, um, kind of just goes away a little bit in my opinion. So what we'll probably do is, I think we'll go with the left. I'm just gonna quickly shoot a, a DM to Leroux, uh, a WhatsApp to Leroux and get his opinion on it. But I'm thinking the one on the 
left. Uh, let's hear what he has to say, Kitty. Okay. I just say quite a heavy day on site. A lot of things to do. As you can hear, the spray gun is going crazy. We're spraying the roof. Uh, the house is basically painted. You'll see a lot of, um, oftentimes when we cover up tiles, um, we have to do a, a filling first with plaster. So let me show you guys over here. No, no visuals of that. Yeah, come and have a look over here. So we fill up with plaster and then we go over to a skim. So this is first level, we'll probably do another level of skim and then sand it off properly. Uh, like, like we're doing right now. Okay, but like I did say earlier, quite a busy day, a lot of orders need to go in to be on time. Dupi, let's go through from that side all the way through. Okay. Do we have any idea? Nope. Let's call Aaron as well. Aaron! So, <laughs> you might find it a bit strange or, or think I'm, I'm harsh and shouting on a site like that when I'm calling somebody. But the whole idea is we have a 200 square meter site. So every time if I needed to go and look for the guy and ask him politely, Aaron, can you please come out and see this with me? It just make everything quite long. So most of our guys know, hopefully, <laughs> I don't have any bad intentions with saying, Aaron, come to this place. The idea is just to get the guys to spaces quickly. Um, it just makes it more efficient. Um, so we have actually quite good relationships with most of our workers, most of them. Aaron! So, from this door, we, where does this light switch on, for instance? Is it here? Okay. It doesn't work. Okay, it does work. Okay. So one lever. Yes. Yeah. What is number two for? It's outside. Outside. Number three? It doesn't work. Number three is going outside to This one was also for here. No. Okay. No. See? Okay. Okay. Three lever. Okay. So, Dupi, what we're writing is three lever switch and then do like one line next to it because there will be maybe yeah. four or five. Okay. Cool. Maro? Okay. Dupi, um, I want you to write also a list of lights we're going to do maybe on the next page or whatever. Okay. Home office light, um, ceiling light times two. Okay, this switch on is this light. Okay, those are plugs. Okay, so Dupi, single, single lever, yeah. one. Cool. Um, plugs, Dupi. One, two, three. Yeah. Aaron, that we must block out. <laughs> the way they built this <laughs> over a plug. <laughs> we need to chip that out. And same here, Aaron. Let's take out all these old telephone cables. It's not for alarm. Uh, I it's don't for know. Alarm, this one. Yeah, but the alarm is already out. Okay. Or we can take it out either way because it's not working. Okay. Okay, so all of these cables gone. One is wall. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just push one button at a time. Okay. One is wall. That's all. Oh, that's wall. Dimmer switch is there. Okay, so that's two lever. And where's this one? This one. Outside. Another three lever. And a two lever, just a three. three. Only a three lever. Okay. Switch, yeah. Um, Dupi, you've got entrance hall light. Yeah. Let's add a dining light. Okay. And then art wall light. Another wall wash. I think I think we can even use that light. Okay, so it's not horrible. No, that's not too bad. You don't sound too impressed. What if we paint? What I was thinking is to maybe paint this entire block black, like a dark yeah, and Chalk. then have a wall wash from the top. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's not a wall wash, I have a, yeah, a that, brass light, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
What do you think? Should we keep that light or let it go? Let us know. Good. And also, <laughs> I thought about keeping that one. I'm really unsure about keeping these little cups. But what do you think? Maybe if this is a dark wall, will this look cool? Let us know what you think. Okay, plugs in here. One. One plug. Okay. Is there another one? Two, Dupi. Two plugs. Okay. And this one? Three. Another plug. So that's most of the layout in Thelma Street. Most of the orders that we needed to get done today will get done now. And then I'm gonna, we're going to head over to um, Eleanor now and do the same there really quickly. So in fact, let's head over there now. So now we're at Eleanor Street and we're going to just do the same thing quite quickly. Um, okay, Dupi, so a yeah. uh, new list. just that the light, uh, lighting layout with the plugs on this house. I'm sure you're gonna speed up some of it because it is quite boring to really look at somebody or watch somebody um, put out light fittings and electrical fittings. But that's the part that needs to happen now so they can chase, uh, make sure everything's chased in and then make sure everything's plastered up. And eventually we'll put some nice lights and, and plugs onto those sockets. But for now, this part is quite essential. So later on, when you see very nice fittings going in, all of this needed to happen to make that work. That's Darren. <laughs> he's, a, he's a fellow property investor. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are already here because as I promised in the last video because there's so many boring things happening at most of the other houses at this stage I'll show you LaRue's interior to give you some nice before and after footage let's see if he's here well <laughs> I'm joking this is all planned he's obviously here come on okay that works is this big pond cribs right Big Show us your crib. Cribs. <laughs> Is there a thing like that? <laughs> Did you come to look at my fridge? And I, yeah, yeah. I want to see if you have beer in your fridge. Or, fridge in my garage. Or perfectly lined up um, water bottles in your fridge <laughs> or, or something like that. Yeah. As you would have seen, that's Wallace the Bulldog. I think you saw him in the previous vlog, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. they did. Yeah. <laughs> um, so guys, as, I'm say, as I said outside, we want to show you some nice interior. Most of his furniture has been moved in. 
And yeah, still, still some still outside <laughs> jobs that still some outside done. work that needs to be done, which we are busy with, and then some, you know, hanging up of pictures and artwork and all of that, and we still need some furniture that fits the space a bit. They better. already have most of their styling done, <laughs> leather furniture. You would have seen on some of Larry's uh, stories as well, a lot of leather and wood that we like to say complements our style. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. And everything's nice and accessible. We, we did put some things at my height, which is not really purposefully no. built for everyone, yeah. Yeah. but for or me for it anyone. works. Yes, for me it works very well. And we've been living here now for about three weeks. Almost a full um, month here. And mm. you do notice some things that, that that you we didn't would have think done of. Yeah, yeah, we, already. We've, we've missed some things. We forgot to put a, a dustbin tray in, <laughs> small things like that, but it's things that you can work around. Yeah. With some smart carpentry and so on. And then there's things that we really like that we did. Um, like that, that, we, that, we, that we use all the time. Um, so USBs, bunch of, yeah, they're supposed to stay up straight. Uh, goes in and out. Or does it have a twist? Oh, oh yeah, it does stay up straight. Um, does it just go to there with the trick? Did I break it? Oh, okay. Um, I really love this in and out. So LaRue wanted to, when we spoke about this house, so just some background, he designed most of it and I actually bought it without him seeing it, saying it's either a big pond house or it could be a house for him. But um, he actually went quite far above what we <laughs> would have done with a big pond house, I think. You spent a little bit we more than you would have more. spent on a big pond house as well. These aluminium windows and doors all the way, these great stacking doors. He actually wanted to do a pillar because he thought it needed to be uh, structural or a place for the doors to attach to. But I convinced him to go otherwise and not do a pillar. Don't you think that was a great idea? It was a great idea. <laughs> it was an expensive idea, but expensive, a great idea. Yeah. We had to put in this massive I-beams what, what did this beam cost? Like 10 grand? Yes. <laughs> 10 grand for this beam and another 10 grand for the other one. <laughs> so he spent like more than 20,000, I think, on just I-beams. I really oh. like that uh, wall, what do you call it again? A, a wall, wall wash. wash. Wall wash light as well. So It just gives a bit of uh, mood lighting. Yeah. Uh, instead of having it like a lamp, we have a wall wash. Let me show you. Was the um, oh, oh, it's also on the system, right? It's also on the system. So you see if I'm connected on the Wi-Fi. I think it's ideal when you're doing a brand new house to have. It's expensive to retrofit, but if you're doing it in any ways, if you're buying, if you're fitting something, you, could, you might as well. Yeah, switches Here and stuff go. already. So on and off on a switch. I thought it wouldn't work, you know, normally when you want to yeah. show somebody something, Typically. it doesn't work. Um, the blinds, did you guys have custom blinds made? or Yes, or and we only had it for this window. Okay. We didn't, need for, we didn't need in the rest of the spaces. I think most people will go for white, myself included, but I really like the black, especially on that wall. Yeah, we were hesitant, but we didn't want it to stand out. Yeah, um, so it's kind of in disappearing the evening, in that we wall. just close it up and, and it's still... It actually just Continues looks like a that wall. Flash, yes. Yeah. Wow. So that's that's what we did there. Yeah, mm. we're still missing a ceiling fan. Mm. We we're looking for a nice black industrial with, fan. With Pretoria weather, we still don't need it there. At yeah. this stage, it's not extremely hot, hot anymore. What's it now? It's May, so yeah, end of May. So we're full on in winter. What I do think you've been using is this. It seems we have we have been using it basically every night. Doesn't need My a touch wife, up. That's my wife now. nags me to start the fire every night or she just does it herself but we have been using it and that is also something that i'm very happy we did um, because it, it really heats up the space and it gives a, a nice atmosphere i love the look of it this black pipe going up yeah. the wall. what is this does it need is it is it from the heat so it's doing a few things and then you'll paint it again afterwards yeah probably we'll give it some touch up paint at a point but uh, on this stadium it's all right okay and it needs just a little bit of a ceiling cut yeah stuff. okay yeah so there will probably always be as as yeah. anyone knows 
uh, who have who have done a renovation, there's always a little some, some thing, extra a, work that a needs few to be most done. probably, right? Yes. Um, just just before we go outside, this light. <laughs> Let's put it on. Uh, it's gonna. Is it one of these on, switches? On the camera. No, it's one of those. But okay. I can turn it on. Yeah, we. So can the, turn it this on light switch is on as well on the. And the camera so it might flash a bit. It's going to probably way flash way. a bit, but just to give a nice view of it. So it's so, a feature. So LaRue's wife, Nikki, yes. went out and bought it and was looking for it. And eventually, later on, after it was installed, I actually saw it on TV as well. And then we figured out it's like a, well, or you guys know, I don't, I knew, I'm not sure. But it was, it's like a, some designer. What do they call it? Do you know? They call it a bubble light. Because it's a bubble uh, some, because some of the bubbles. Some people call right? it like a, a atom light. Okay, it looks like an atom, so that makes sense. Yeah. So it's actually a designer light. You didn't buy it from the designer people, did you? No. <laughs> we never buy from the designer people because everything, <laughs> all of it's made in China either yes. way. <laughs> um, Maybe the first one is made by a designer. Yeah. The rest I just paste, copy and paste it. I like this island, massive stove. This is very much Big Pond style. It's quite light for a Big Pond house, and I think that was your wife's influ in yes. influence as well. Right? I wanted yeah. to do a lot of things in black, but <laughs> I'm very glad she got overruled. She persisted a bit. me, and yeah, not persisted. She, she just told me, persuaded. Yeah, actually, just told me. I'm <laughs> not going to do it in black. It's not going to be black. Yeah, it's I see you be won light. the stove battle though. Yeah, well, she wanted the black stove as okay, well. Okay, okay. And the so black fitting she also yes. likes. Uh, the black touches. The, yeah. uh, the same with the black feature wall. Yeah. Um, it's it's not too overwhelming. And so, then this tile. I love this tile. Yeah. Made in Spain, handmade probably. I'm sure it ticks all those boxes. But yes. um, you you actually have very because of the wide open windows, you have very little space for. Yeah. Um, for, for backsplashes, but I love this tile. The yeah, and it also and just brings in a bit of color again, yes. because we have, we have some subtle colors. We have white, we have a very light gray, gray. and wood. then we have some wood finishes. So it gives you a bit of opportunity to play with, with nice some colors. Nice around here. Wow, I love. Uh, come and have a look here. Really cool laundry. Washing machine at the top, dishwasher at the bottom. So if you're limited for space, this is the way to go. Nice solid, yeah, solid rack for the. Um, does it shake? <laughs> not no. not too heavy. Uh, a tumble dryer would shake too, yes. too heavily. You do it probably, but it, then yeah. you would just put it at the bottom. Okay. Oh yeah, just switch it around. Now this bra area. So this is to to have it at height for you. You almost made it more like a fireplace, right? Uh, uh, this is a leg height. <laughs> this is a guni skin that we put in the in the washing machine, <laughs> and it shrunk a bit. Used to, or it's either a guni that shrunk, or it was just a really small cow, or, or it's, it's a blaze book. <laughs> it's Wallace's brother. <laughs> Wallace's big brother. Yes. <laughs> um, now, so again, we 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 still busy with some furniture choices. We will probably put in a large table here. This is furniture that came from the previous house. A large uh, table like that. Yes, I think in in. I, in I this agree because even having that smaller table on the inside uh, this way and then another one this way would work really yes. well. Nice couch outside. This is probably what is defined as inside outside living. You probably have you have leather couches and yeah, a bolstered chairs outside. Even yeah, though it's and not the really whole outside, space. That's nice. The whole space is watertight on that side. We have a TV at the back. Have uh, it rained have since couches. you guys were here? Yes, it's rained and, a couple of times. And does it get wet until like there? No, yeah. it basically gets or wet. Or does it stop? At that strip because it's okay. sloped. So it's just, a, uh, it slopes out. Yeah, okay. so no water runs in from Very the nice. movement joint there to the outside. Slopes out and so the water just flows out. That, that was the design as well. It was a bit of a mission to get I all can the think slabs poured right. Yeah. And then tiled on top and leveled out with the pool and <laughs> yeah a lot of things joining up with each other um i can think this looks really cool when it's filled up but you guys have had a couple of bras and used yeah a we've bit of already <laughs> we've already although you have a bit it. you have enough wood still it just needs to be stacked right yeah we're gonna go through to the bedrooms now and have a look 
Is there something interesting to see in the bedrooms? I know in your uh, bedroom it's quite interesting. Yes, the rest is uh, basically storage. The second <laughs> one. This is still a study slash storage. This is storage, a study right? slash storage. Second one becoming a guest bedroom. Yes. Eventually. So <laughs> this one will become that. And then bathroom we have a bathroom. We'll, we'll go to that now. Oh wow, very nicely styled. Wallace is bored with us. So Wallace is there. part of the styling. Yeah. Wallace. <laughs> Very nice uh, throw over the bed. Is is this the styling? This is, it supposed to is be straightened something out? that Nikki made. Did she make this? Okay, yes. Very nice. I like the start, the coloring, and so on. Yeah. So but what I mean, this. what I'm meaning is the rough yes. part of the. Uh, okay. That styling. So it shouldn't be straightened out. No, okay. okay. Built-in bedroom, uh, bed bedside tables, right? Yes, built in with charging points and everything inside. Oh, you don't have to nice. open up there. Yeah. But everything's inside, some storage on top, yeah. display shelves, and then we have cupboards. Mm. I'll, I'll show you mine. <laughs> um, I'll rather not show you my wife's, but... Yeah. Uh, Lots of cupboard space. Are this you, we, you have, have and we have a, a pull-out wardrobe here, so everything can be reachable for me. That's great. Drawer at the bottom. Drawer at the bottom. Soft just close hinges. Yes, yeah, just mm -hmm. a bit of convenience. Then also in the bathroom, we're still waiting on uh, the love, shower panels. I do love this floating desk, though. Uh, desk, uh, vanity. Yes, uh, really and, it's, and well. it's practical for me. I mean, I can move it. To go here. underneath, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is movable. This so is also from Devil, right? Yes, Devil nice. supplied us with this. You would think Devil sponsors us. Maybe you will at some stage. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Um, and then we're waiting for uh, another big, we, we're looking at a mirror. round mirror yes. that is basically cut at the bottom and cut at the side. So it looks like a big round mirror. That, but that was cut off. Yeah. That's, so it's round yes, like that. Something and like then that. stops. Yes. So on the previous comments, a few people said they wanted to see your green wall. What is this color? Do you know? Um, I think it's peen. Peen. Peen green. I, I think so. <laughs> I will we'll drop it in the text. We'll put the comment of the color right here. Can we do that? Can we do that? <laughs> we'll see if Marcel can do that. We'll put the color right. Well, let's put the color right here. Right here. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Toilet in the corner and yeah. yeah. So a white base tile, the same color going through and a bit of a mosaic. Uh, Oh yes, and then we the can get to this, herringbone, backsplash, or oh, herringbone feature wall tile, black fittings throughout, really nice. Yeah, we'll be getting, there's another shower chair that will be mounted on the wall, we, we were just looking at some options, layout options where, where it's best for me, and then there'll be a big large um, shower panel. panel here. Black? Black frame? Black or frame, frames? black frame, frosted, frosted glass like that. Okay, very nice. Some spots on top in the wardrobe. the cupboards. That's very nice. Okay, so is that basically the. Uh, we'll, yeah. we'll show you that on B roll. I think, is there somebody in there? Yes. Ladies cleaning, uh, the clean ladies changing. Um, is that it? Is that what That's we wanted to show them? That's Maybe it. hit them with a, four, a few before and afters, right? We yeah, are. We, we, we do. We do. Yeah. Hit them right now. That was the walkthrough. That so, was all of it. I hope you guys enjoyed having a proper interior view and some nice interiors. We will give you some more as soon as, I know I've been saying this for a few weeks, but as soon as Thelma and Eleanor stuff starts coming in, we'll show you more details on that and you'll, you'll have more nice interiors to see. Yeah, so I think in true Crips fashion, <laughs> It's time for you to leave. My wife is almost home. Okay, before so, she's here, uh, we'll have to leave. She didn't approve of this video, so <laughs> you guys should so be gone. So we are out. Thank yes. you very much. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Bye.
So it is the end of week five. Um, it's, we've already been busy with these videos for almost a month now. More than um, a month. More than a month, yeah. Five weeks, <laughs> to be precise. Um, so we had, oh, oh, we are in uh, Siemens today. Now Siemens is actually a butchery, but it's a butchery with draft beer. How cool is that? Um, we, it's, it's actually also quite centrally located in Gaarsfontein. Um, it's in Atterbury Value Mart. I have breakfast here quite a lot because it's really with central beer to well. our areas. Yeah, of course with a beer. We're it's construction, we aren't we? <laughs> um, but on a, fr on, a, on a Friday afternoon or so, you can pop around and have a beer here. We're having a Erdinger Pilsner today. They also have some more uh, Weiss beer. Last week, I actually also had Erdinger with the Vault. So, uh, Erdinger, maybe you want to sponsor us. Let's see. <laughs> They're getting a good punt. Yeah, they are. Uh, they do have good beer, though. Um, so, just a quick roundup of this week. Um, we had uh, three, was it three or four house meetings? Can't remember exactly. Most of it uh, was uh, useless fruit. <laughs> We're not going to make an offer on any of those. The offer we made last week on a property uh, did not come through. We did not, uh, that offer did not get accept, accepted. And, and just based on that, I want to um, say, we, we, people think we come in at very low under market or buy at auction or buy from horrible situations or stuff like that. Now, as much as we would like to buy extremely low, undervalued properties, we, we don't often do that. We, we pay market value for properties. Some we normally buy rundown properties yes. as well. So, so, so it's we what pay, it's worth. And, and that's actually what we are looking for. Just normally that's not, it's not overly available. Exactly. Uh, so we're trying to pay what it's worth. So and as well what it's worth to us. Yes, what it's worth to us and normally what it's worth to other people. So with these three properties that we're not going to make an offer on, it's typically stuff that is probably worth more and that's why I'm not even bothering going in with a low offer. Yeah, we, we, we don't want to steal from anyone. No. We, we also give an honest opinion on what the property is worth and we give advi advice on how they should uh, go about selling the property. So oftentimes we recommend we're not going to be able to buy it from you. If it's private, we say you can use this agent. Or even to the agents, we give an idea. I think it's probably worth around there. I'll offer you this much. We really attempt to pay a fair price for a property. Um, Leroux, maybe you want to give some feedback on what's happening at the sites at the moment. Yes, so basically both the sites that we are busy with, we are doing a lot of internal work and by internal work I mean piping and electrical. Um, we did tiling at Thelma which is basically finished. We're busy with bathroom tiling. Um, the colors are coming together in that house. We can, we can get a nice feeling of what the house is going to be. Um, you mean Thelma? Yes. The look Especially and feel. With, the, with the tiles that's going in now. The and tiling. The feature the, tiles. Uh, all the beams have been paint, painted. The, we know the ceilings. how the uh, um, cabinetry is going to look. Yeah. So I think uh, I'm very excited about that house even though it's not really accessible all the way for me. Um, the things that I can see it, it works out really it's really coming together. I also um, think um, we need staging in that house. If you're a stager and you want to stage that house with us, or not a stager, a furniture manufacturer or, or something like that, you have a furniture shop, speak to us in the it's comments. It's going to be really a nice house. in a collab with that staging. It's really going to be a good house to be invested in. I think yes. it, 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 it will appear nice. I think also because we haven't had a, a, um, a, a, a house launch in quite a while. Last one we had was last November. We've been looking for houses for a while and then we did yours. We will get a lot of traction with that, I'm so sure. So there will be a lot of people at that property. Also, if you're looking for a property, there's a few people watching our channels that are looking for property. I get those text messages every day. Tell us in the comments if you're looking for this. Um, so you said it was Bobcat Day yesterday. Yeah, we were we were busy doing a lot of uh, landscaping slash earth moving at Illinois. Yes. It's to get uh, the parking spaces and and uh, the 
the the basic outside layout correct the pool is level. now gone the pool is gone the lapas are gone at both of the sites both sides um, the stelma's lapa also gone now yeah mostly basically mostly yeah. um yeah and then we are moving along we we move the db um we're doing a lot of internal most of the building most of the plastering new windows are in so um, interesting interior coming soon <laughs> yes very soon very soon nice colors um, nice tiles we're very busy and i think we are on schedule we we almost at the halfway mark and from there it goes quite fast i think then we'll almost have too much enjoyable content for one week we, we must split it split up it up <laughs> but so uh, that's what's been going on at those two sites uh, we also did a walkthrough of my house and uh, as you would see it's not it's not totally finished it's not, there's some exterior work that still needs to be done but uh, give us some feedback tell us what you think give us a out of a five star rating Tell us where, what with do you think of furniture in it? Yes, that with the furniture. Does he need How to change all his furniture? Is it good? Is it okay? Do you want to sponsor me with the out, outdoor table? How much are you looking for? A 10 meter table or a, just 10 a meter. Eight, eight only eight. Seat. No, eight seater. Eight seater. Or 10 seater. So what's it? Not a six a meter. meter table? No, three meter. Three meter table. Three meter is fine. See, it could have been a 10 or a six. Now it's only a three meter. That's not too yeah, expensive. Yeah, so it's half price. Go on. Okay, so yeah, th so give us some feedback on what do you think there. We'll give, uh, if you have questions about the colors or the tiles or anything, feel free to ask. Uh, we will share that information. We'll give you that, uh, we've given you that color. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've given you the color in the video. So, and um, yeah. yes, that's, that's basically what's going on on the properties. Then some, some announcements. Uh, as I said in the video, as I said, the furniture staging, if you're interested, talk to us, Instagram, Facebook, my number's out everywhere, chat to us. Um, if you want to stage or get involved in the staging of this video, uh, uh, this property, Thelma Street property, that should be, the launch is going to be in about a month from now, maybe a bit longer than a month. Um, so get involved in the staging now. Uh, soon, at a time last year, we had too many people who wanted to get furniture for spaces. So get involved now and we'll move forward with that. Then, the quality of this content and of the quality of the videos. Tell us what you think in the comments. We really like to know what you would like to see more of, what you would like to see less of. Do you want less of me talking nonsense? Do you want more uh, interiors? We're getting there. Uh, what do you want to see? What do you think? How's the sound? I know last week sounds, again, we had some issues with the mics, with batteries dying and a bunch of things like that. Um, maybe this week I think it should be good again. I know it's quite noisy where we are today. That's the nature of bars on late, after, late week afternoons. Uh, this is very central in Atterbury, so <laughs> that's why it's so busy outside. And then Leru, yeah, that's all my announcements. So that's basically it for this week's video. Um, do all those things, uh, comment, like, smash the like button if you're into that. Um, it's in true YouTube fashion. Yes, smashing that, that, the like that's button. That's what they say. So, <laughs> ring the bell, uh, call your mother. <laughs> click, I don't on, know what, <laughs> click on the bell and call your mother. Tag a friend, <laughs> call a friend. Whatever you want to do, just do it. Uh, let's get this content out there. We are yes. trying to 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 better our content, to to better our business. We we we. We're trying to do something with this. Tell people about this channel as well. Share it in your social media. We'd really, really appreciate that. Um, if you can, uh, I think somewhere here, more or less. Is it there? Here? There? Somewhere around here is a button that says share. Share that to your social media. It would really help us out. If you can share this with people on, on, on Facebook and Instagram. I don't think on Instagram. I think Facebook is easy to share this video. So that can get you more people. And as always, thanks for watching. End of week five. Cheers. Yes. It will give it a much